Next, we got favorite books of 2018. We're decreasing the number each time we go down to a category. Favorite book, The Truth Is Out There, X-Files Volume 2, and Trust No One, X-Files Volume 1. I know I have recommended these books on the podcast before because it is essentially like getting 40 new episodes of the X-Files because who the hell knows if we're ever going to get more. And they're just X-Files episodes in book format. They're both on Audible as well. So if you want to listen to them, they are incredible and just a lot of fun to fill that void, that Mulder and Scully shaped void in our hearts. The next book is Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. This is a book that I've been meaning to get around to for years, and I finally did, and I am so glad that I did. It is a little bit slow at points, but it is a very quick listen or read. I think it's about seven hours, eight hours, but still a very great science fiction story. You can tell how many science fiction writers and and filmmakers have been influenced by this book. It is just excellent and a very good and interesting story about what would happen if extraterrestrials visited Earth. That's all I'll say about it. Then we got two nonfiction books. These are, I I bet you guys can guess what they're going to be. First is Skunk Works, a personal memoir by Ben Rich. This is a guy who works at Skunk Works, which I believe is owned by Lockheed Martin and They develop spy planes and all sorts of top secret aircraft, and it is just fascinating hearing the culture of a top secret place and hearing the the people butting heads about budgets and trying to get money for their airplane rather than this other airplane to get money. It is just so interesting. And hearing the secrecy and everything around the development of, of top secret airplanes was just so cool. I really recommend that. And then my favorite book, I think I finished this in 2018. It may have been December of 2017, but I think it was around January. Area 51, An Uncensored History by Annie Jacobson. This too is an audiobook. I think all of these were audiobooks actually. And this one, it takes all those, all that speculation that I have had about Area 51 and kind of remove some of that mystery, which is a bummer. But the story of what has actually gone on there is just as interesting and fascinating. And I've actually alluded to a story in this book where test pilots for the jet would wear gorilla suits in case any pilots of propeller planes would see them. And <laughs> when they would go to the bar and be like, I saw this, this airplane without any propellers. Who was flying it? A gorilla. They would think that person was crazy. So <laughs> so the the pilot who saw the, the jet is not going to spill the beans because they don't want to be thought of as crazy. And there's another idea in that about the Roswell craft where it isn't actually aliens, which I am guessing it's probably not, but rather it was a Russian craft. And the speculation there is that Stalin was fully aware of the hysteria caused by the War of the Worlds drama by, I don't think it was Orson Welles on the radio, was it? Whoever it was. The War of the Worlds being broadcast on the radio caused an entire state of of hysteria. People lost their damn minds. So it could have been that Russia was just trying to, to reinstate a state of hysteria in the U.S. by saying, oh, we got aliens who are actually here. So it could have been that, or maybe it was an experimental craft and they were just wearing alien suits. So if anybody found it, nobody would believe them. And those are my favorite books. 